William Kentridge is one of the most well-known and most admired artists working today. In the exhibition, we present drawing, works on paper, films, which are animated drawings, sculptures, and large-scale installations, which bring together drawing, projection, film, music, dance, and sound. Among the recurring motifs that we can see in the exhibition are landscape, and in particular the motif of the tree, uh, as well as uh, the motif of the procession, uh, and the idea of history. History as a procession, but history is also something that, that points to the future, but a future that we cannot fully grasp. The exhibition itself has been designed uh, with the studio very much in mind, and we were able to work with the set designer, Sabine Turnison, who is a long-time collaborator of Williams, and who has, in fact, worked with him on numerous operas. And Sabine was able to help us with the selection of works in conceiving of an installation that evokes the studio. So we see, t we see drawings that are laid out on tables. We see uh, uh, provisional uh, presentation structures. Everything is in a state of dynamic display, I would say. All of these things are meant to evoke, in fact, the world of William, his world of the studio uh, in Johannesburg. Uh, but it's also this, where the studio becomes a metaphor for the world itself, a place where we make sense of that world, constantly working with different forms, constantly trying to elaborate them, but also to read them, to give meaning to them, and to understand what our relationship is to them and to the world itself. So you can no doubt hear, as I'm speaking, many different sounds. So sound is incredibly important to William. It comes through particularly in the form of music. And um, the, whole, the entire exhibition has been choreographed not only in terms of the different works that we're presenting and the different moods and the different experiences of each of the three principal spaces of the exhibition, but also in relation to sound and music. So it, it's almost like a, a, comp a composition itself uh, where we have different soundtracks which are compositions for the films, the two key films, Waiting for the Sybil and City Deep, as well as the installation, More Sweetly Plays the Dance. And then in the Great Hall, this extraordinary uh, in sound installation where we have the monumental megaphones from which emits these seven different specially composed pieces which compose together almost don't tremble. Most we need to play the dance dates from 2015 and it's considered uh, one of William's most important works. It actually brings together um, every dimension of his practice, I would say, from drawing uh, to drawings for projection to working with stage um, music, dance, and opera. And it is, in effect, like a small opera that's presented before us as we enter the space. Its theme is the procession, but the procession as it relates to uh, the procession of time, the procession of history, but also uh, thematically it's related to the theme of the dance of death. The procession is a theme that actually dates back much earlier and we see it in the very earliest drawings and engravings of William and indeed in some of the, his earliest sculptures. And we have a beautiful sculptural piece dating from 2000 um, in the exhibition consisting of many bronze figures that form themselves a procession. So it, it, it's a theme that recurs. But it's also, uh, in More Sweetly Play the Dance, it also brings to the fore the theme of the shadow and the shadow procession, which for, for William has a very important relationship to the history of the Republic and the narrative written by Plato, uh, where he talks about the slaves who are bound in the cave and their only experience of the world is through the shadow of people who are passing on the outside. 
And at a certain point, these slaves, when they're liberated, they're brought out into their light and they're completely disoriented because they don't recognize this world for what it is. So there's many different layers that exist within that work. But at the same time, when we experience it, we experience something that's jubilant, that's also tragic, incredibly moving, and we are certainly transported when we are viewing it.